we, because we're organic, we don't do any spraying. Mm. That is uh, fly stripe, fruit oh, fly. Okay. And uh, but all it will do to the avocado is, when you cut that when it's ripe, you'll find there'll be a hard nodule mm. in behind it. Mm. It's not affecting the fruit. Really? So you can still eat it. Yeah, you still eat the fruit. That's no problem. Okay. okay. Right. The fruit doesn't come on the old part of the tree, it comes on the new growth. Mm. You've got to be careful of wet feet because if they get wet feet, you'll get Phytophthora as you get in grapes. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, they don't like to be exceptionally dry, but they don't like to be wet. So we're in a good climate here because mm. we get about um, close to two meters of rain a year. But, and we're in good soil. This is all red volcanic soil, which means that I've been down here six, seven feet, uh, two, two meters, and we're still in. These are grafted trees to start with when they were bought. Okay. Yeah. Uh, seed trees don't do well. That tree you see near the house has avocados that big. Okay. But the stone's that big. Oh. Okay. Uh, we have two main types. We have Hass. Okay. This is Sharwell. The Sharwell are bigger fruit, fruits earlier mm -hmm. and also it stays green. The Hass, when it's ripe, yeah. the skin goes dark. They'll ripen. Once you pick them off the tree, they'll take about, it depends on the time of the year, they'll take between six and ten days to ripen. You can hold that by putting them in the refrigerator and probably get two weeks out of them. Okay. Mm. However, once you take them out of the refrigerator, if you don't eat them quickly, they'll go black.